What is up guys, it is Nick, and we are back on Near Automata. Uh, we need to go get our flight suits. The hangar's up ahead. Let's go. It is a bajillion degrees outside. I just got done mowing. Oh my god. An hour of mowing the yard and blowing and all of that different stuff in the heat. Holy moly, it is hot. There was a nice little breeze and I was like, oh, this feels kind of nice. And then, bam, like halfway through mowing, it's like, oh my gosh, I... So ridiculously hot. Hey, 2B, why do you think they sent a combat model like you to a recon job? If all they want is intel, we scanner models are built for that kind of thing. Orders are orders. All right, all right. So I'm going to make the very vague assumption that uh, we're playing as uh, 9S for this playthrough. 2B, you're going to have some new weaponry installed from here on out. I'll put up instructions for you. Make sure to commit them to memory. Roger. This barrage. I don't actually remember what, uh, what she said there, that's what we got when we played through regularly. My question is, once we start fighting, am I going to get my weapons, or am I going to get 9S's weapons? Whatever they may have been. I don't really know what they are, but... I mean, these enemies are slightly different because obviously we didn't fight these guys this early in the game. You know what I... I gotta try something. Hopefully we get another enemy. Bunker this is something I never try. I've set a landing point for your flight units. You'll be touching down quite a ways from the resistance camp, unfortunately. Sorry for the trouble, but we can't risk the enemy discovering their position. Understood. Good luck down there. Of course we didn't get another chance. I wanted to see if you locked on if it would be more accurate with that barrage. acquired. Marking on map. Proposal. Proceed to target location. Oh gosh, that's gonna be painful. I need to kill one enemy so I can get my health back. I don't want to have to waste... One of you just died. According for me, to please. our intel, none of the machines in this area are hostile. We've been seeing more and more enemies like this lately. They just stand there and stare into space. It's pretty weird. Well, I made them hostile because I wanted to get my health back, so. Alright, so I don't have. Oh my gosh. Yeah! <laughs> There's some neat combos you can do. Yeah, there's no way we play this whole playthrough as him. It just... There's not enough... So this is the resistance camp, huh? We should probably go talk to their leader first thing. He's just like a little too basic, I think. You're... Number two. Hmm? You know about 2B? Um, yes, well, the bunker told me to expect you. My name is Anemone. I'm the leader of the android resistance that controls most of this territory. You must be the new scouts we heard about. Well, I'm sure my people will have plenty of information for you. Please feel free to ask them anything you like. This is really weird. So this is the guy, this is the weapon dealer. And we gotta fix his machine. 
I don't really think I need to read this again. I'll read some of the stuff again, but this is just him telling you to fix his machine. And then this guy's gonna tell you you need supplies. I don't really think we- oh no, we're already good. He doesn't have anything I want, but... Um, okay, so we can get him to sell power chips by completing his mission. Thank you. Okay, that's everything the supply trader asked for. I guess Man, I can already these complete. Chores are a real pain in the butt, huh? The resistance is a valuable ally to Yorha. By helping them, we also help ourselves. So no, I don't think they're a pain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the lady who can answer any of your questions, but I don't, I don't need that. Okay, so I already completed this. Talks about how he can't fix his leg, yada yada yada. I will read a lot of these, but I don't see really the point for this one. Alright, um... We're all pretty good on supplies. So we're just missing the fishing spots and some... Sound Data 2. Unlock more BGM on the jukebox. Part 2 of a set of 5 amazing tracks. Sure. Buy that. So I do have all sorts of stuff to sell that I guess we could. Um, these chips are kind of hard because they don't stack and it makes you think they stack. And I'm not going to sell any of those as of now. I don't think... But, uh, oh, Deadly Heal. Oh, I have that equipped, I think. Um, I guess we can go ahead and sell some of these machine core <laughs> 200 grand. I don't really see, it just says can be exchanged for money, so I don't think I need them. We've got all this stuff we can sell for money. I want to keep at least one of everything, so we can sell 12 of those. And we're rich. Let's see. Anything else that I need to sell or buy? Uh, look at all those copper cores. How much money would that be worth? Not much. Now the iron cores. Now that, we're talking a little bit of cash. The silver ores... Rusted clump, broken key. Alright. Let's talk to this lady. You're with Yora, right? This is the maintenance shop. I almost bought the laser on accident. Mirage. Analyze all enemies in a fixed radius, allowing combatants to deliver a series of deadly slashes. Hammer, blade, spear... Buy that and that. Let's buy all of these. Just because I can. Okay, so one thing we could take a look at is fusion. I don't really know what this is, so if I fuse an attack up with an attack up, it creates a better attack up. Okay. So, like, critical one plus critical one. Okay, we can do that. So that's a critical up two. Last stand. I don't want my health getting that low, so it's not a big... So anti-chain, max HP up. We'll craft those together. Offensive heal plus offensive heal. So offensive heal plus three. So now we can do deadly heals together. And then deadly heals together again. Auto heal. After six seconds of not taking damage, before, restore 0.6. Okay. Evade range. It's probably important. Drop rate. Oh, we can get a drop rate three. Let's see. I guess we'll... We'll upgrade our drop rates to plus two. Weapon attack. 
There we go. Weapon attack up, plus three. Critical up. There's no real reason not to do this, I don't think. So. Shock waves. Last stands. Anti-chain. Ooh, we can get an anti-chain plus four. Ooh, baby. So that's something we gotta keep an eye on is upgrading that stuff and then upgrading the pods. I'm not even like close to doing that. All right, so let's go ahead. Skills, plug-in chips. Can I equip chips? Let me remove all of these. I want to make my own again. Okay, so now, all chips. We need that. We need that. We need most of these up here. Damage values, sound waves, control, uh, auto hide hut. Oh, I don't need that. Weapon attack up plus three. I gotta make sure. Uh, ranged attack up three. Ranged defense. Anti chain damage four. Max HP three. Um. Let's do that, and then Deadly Heal plus 3, Evade Range, EXP Gain, Drop Rate, don't have room, Melee Defense, nope, Counter, Last Stand, is there anything that's small? Oh, I can put HUD control on. Hmm. I guess I'll just put HUD control on because nothing else fits. What about anti-chain? Nope. Nope, everything is too big. So we'll just go ahead and put the HUD control on. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm happy with that, I think. Could be a little bit better, but, uh, it's alright. So we'll equip that one. Alright, so we gotta go complete the weapon, guys. Quest? This must have been quite a city once upon a time. Too bad vegetation's claimed most of it now. Operator 210 to 9S. This is your regularly scheduled contact. This is 9S. Nothing to report. Weather's sure nice today, though. Nothing to report. Copy that. And no need for a weather report. Operator 210 out. Oh, you don't have to be so formal all the time, Operator. Though I kind of like that about you. <laughs> so, they're like the complete opposites. It's kind of cool. Um, like, 2B's operator is super talkative and this super... This is the place that weapons trader was talking about. Uh-oh. I'm picking up hostile machine life forms. Oh. Um, well, actually, no. Why do I just have my fists out? What is... I'm trying to figure this, like... This is really weird. I am really missing being 2B right now. What the... I don't know about this. Plant life has claimed most of the central area. Big plants too. 
Report. Records show that vegetation has grown to an abnormal size since the departure of humans. Hmm. Wonder if there are any huge boars and such, too. <laughs> okay. Can I die? Thank you. I don't like his attacks as much as 2B. He does have the hacking thing. Which is interesting. Failed the hack, so that's good. Just fantastic die. Still another one of those big guys here. We did clear out every small enemy though. So I'll look around here real quick. Grab what items I can. I mean, I guess if you uh, have the skills, you can loot this without having to ever kill him, but I don't know where all the items are anymore. This is one I think. Okay, so they're missing one. This isn't it, but I'm gonna grab it. I think it's the same one I missed before. Yeah, I think I see it. It's right there. And we're done. That should be and enough. Let's get these back to the trader. We're out. Probably call it an episode after the trader, because. I think then we get the bigger mission. I can't even remember what the first big mission is. The desert, I think. It's Desert Amusement Park Kingdom. The... Well, now I'm confused on what comes. Kingdom. Kingdom. Forest Kingdom. Where do you go after that? You, oh, you go to the... Flooded city, then the copied city, and then the abandoned factory, and then game over. <laughs> I think. I think that's how it went. Can't believe it. I just played it. I can't remember. Okay. Fix his machine. I think this should be enough to fix your broken device. Well, how do you like that? Looks like I'm back in business, baby. Good to hear. You know what? I make these weapons to keep my friends safe, after all. Although sometimes I wonder, what if my weapons are just making my friends die all the faster? Ah, never mind, forget I said anything. Anyway, come back in a little while, alright? I should have some new gear for you then. Okay, so just come over here, and then go back. Hey, it's you! Oh, I almost forgot, I still owe you a reward. I wanted to say thanks for helping me get things up and running again, so I whipped you up some upgrade materials. Crystal, Beast Hide, Copper Ore, 5k, and 50 XP. Want to try them out? Sure. He's still got the same weapons, but I can upgrade now. So, I really liked the Virtuous Treaty. Wow, these upgrades I can get now. Okay, I can actually upgrade both. So, let's upgrade this. And then, is that max upgrade? Uh, no. Oh, we get Holy Blessing on it when we upgrade it again, but I can upgrade this now. Because I got Beast Hide. So we need a Dented Plate. Okay, they don't overlap again. So we need a Dented Plate, two Titanium Alloy, and then a whole lot of upgrade materials there. I can upgrade these if I wanted. But I don't think I do. No, because then I'd have to find more Warped Wire. I'd have to upgrade this thing, and I don't really want to. Wow, look at that thing. 840 to 9. I don't know why I'm upgrading because I can't even do anything this playthrough so far. Right oh, this weapon is now level 3. That's as far as we can take it here, but there are craftsmen in the world who can raise it to level 4. If I ever met someone like that, I'd want them to teach me all they knew. Come to me whenever you need help with your weapons. Okay, so there are level there are there are better upgrade or weapon smiths. Got to be the ones in the forest, right? There's got to be one in the forest. 
because that's the one that uh, the guy in uh, Pascal's village is talking about. That was like an expert swordsmith. Oh, hey, I actually have a request for you as well. There have been lots of reports of dangerous machines appearing in the desert recently. This is very unusual, so it may be indicative of something bigger. Now, I hear you Yora types are pretty good at ex examining things. You think you can look into this whole mess for me? Sure. Thanks, I knew I could count on you. I'll tell our alloys, allies in the desert that you're coming. Be careful out there, okay? Alright, so I don't really want to start the next, like, I don't want to start, um, look at this, chests are even open. Is this like an alternate reality that we're in right now? I don't, there's got to be a point to this, other than it just being cool that you get to play as 2B, even though, or 9S, even though you don't have, like, the weapon, your weapons. Hmm, okay. Testing out some different stuff here. This looks cool. Whatever this attack is, look at this. Whatever that is, it looks really cool. So those are just regular attacks. Okay, so he doesn't actually hold his sword. He uses, like, his mind, I guess, to... Not his mind. I guess it's a machine, so he uses... His sword must be programmed to his brain. So... That's cool, because he doesn't ever actually hold it. Okay. I can get used to this. So that's a s upper slash. Um. Okay. <laughs> I was just testing out some attacks and whatnot, but uh, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and the next one we will head to the desert and see what's going on there. I'm interested to see what different dialogues we get and different things like that. Supposedly, this one is relatively the same to the first playthrough, uh, and then I believe the third playthrough is pretty short, and then the fourth playthrough is another kind of longer playthrough, but... Uh, <laughs> I still really enjoy this game. I kind of miss my weapons and my pods with uh, 2B, but still, uh, I, I like the different kind of gameplay. That you, it's going to take me a little while to get used to the gameplay with 9S because I'm so used to my hack and slash with 2B. Um, but uh, I think the hacking and stuff should be interesting. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Oh, we. Oh! That's how you get these chests open. Type 40 fists. Awesome. So that's how you get these weapons. Er, weapons. These chests open. So we have the Cruel Oath. The Cruel Oath sucks. So how about we use my good weapon? And then... Type 40 fists. I don't know, maybe if I'm feeling frisky, I'll use the fists. But, uh, I should probably use my good sword. That'll probably help. Being, I didn't actually know I had to equip it. That sword looks beastly. Nice white. I like it. But, uh, that will actually now do it. At least we know how to open these chests now, so I'm excited about that. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Peace out!